Hi guys, um, it's Dave here, well Hungarian, and I am filling in for Matt, Death of a Fat Man, on the Fantastic, fi the Fantastic Five, um, fuck, rubbish. Hi guys, so yeah, as I said rather clumsily before, um, I'm a guest vlogger this week for the Fantastic Five. Um, and this week's question, let me just get this precisely right, I'm going to be reading. How would you react to a partner's or friend's discomfort or jealousy as a result of your losing weight? Would you be prepared to sacrifice your own weight loss journey if this issue was influential for the continuation of your relationship? And that um, topic was suggested by Little Miss Slim 2009. Um, first of all, that's a fantastic question. It's a really good question. Um, and it's something that unfortunately um, everybody has to experience because well, in, in my experience there are four kinds of people. The first set of people are the kind of people that never change. Um, the only person I can think really um, are like my parents, my mum, um, the people who always kind of tell you right or wrongly exactly what they think and they never change whether you lose weight or whether you put on weight or whatever they you know she said to me i think you look and feel happier smaller but i love you if you're bigger you know as long as you're happy that's fine and that's type one <clears throat> excuse me type two are the people who um will get how do I put this? Basically, uh, in society, everybody plays a role. Uh, whether you want to or not. I mean, my role's always been the fat, funny one. Uh, and the last time I lost weight, people got really... It, it shakes people up a bit because, you know, when you start striving towards your goal and, and making positive big leaps towards your goal when you you know when you start actually doing something about it instead of just going oh I really want to lose weight I really want to lose weight when you actually start doing something about it it makes them question what they're doing about their goals so naturally it makes them think and it, and it you know to them you're not the same person anymore because you've changed well, I mean you are the same person but the way they see you has changed so they're the kind of people that will always make it seem like they're looking out for you, but actually are kind of kind of saying to you, you're fine just the way you are, because they want you to stay that way, because that's the way they know you. Um, I had a lot of people, and you know, they don't mean it. Like, I had a lot of people um, who, at home and at work, who all said to me um, when I was at, almost at goal, um, oh, I think you're too thin now. I think you should put on some weight. Um, I think you've gone too far, and you know you don't want to. You don't want to be unhealthy. You just want to be. You want to be a healthy weight. And I said exactly. You know, but I'm still a stone over. So fourteen pounds over um, my maximum healthy weight. You know, I was still categorised as overweight. So. Those kind of things can be quite funny and quite awkward at times, but just reassure them that you are doing it for your health, you're doing it for your happiness, and at the end of the day, their opinion doesn't really matter. Um, the third type of people are the people who will actually really support you, um, and who will kind of maybe come out of the woodwork a bit um, as they see that you're taking it seriously, the people who... Um, wouldn't necessarily have you would have thought would have been particularly supportive and then what's now that they've seen you doing well and working hard and and respecting you more maybe a little bit whether right or rightly or wrongly um they will come out and support you um and that can be really nice you know that can be really helpful 
really spur a new one and also just to know that somebody noticed you know that's great um, and the fourth kind of people are the kind of people who will come out the woodwork um, when you start losing weight because they then think you're cool do you know what I mean like it's okay to be seen with you because you're not the fat person anymore that's never good to them I just said a big fuck off like I can see right through them and you know nobody's nobody's impressed how would I react? Um, I've already said one. I would tell I would tell the uh, the people who just come out the woodwork who think it's now cool to fuck off, because it's just you know whatever or bleep off. Um, and then generally, I just kind of said whatever I thought they wanted to hear. But in my head, I know I'm a strong-minded person, so I'll do whatever I want in the end. Um, but just kind of reassure them that everything's going to be fine. Um, I've been quite lucky, generally. I've never been in a relationship where the other person has tried to ever stop me or detract, deter me from losing weight or um, tempted me in any way. The last time um, when I lost a considerable amount of weight, my partner at the time started doing it with me as well. We wanted to start at the same time, but she had to start slightly after me because of timing, blah, blah, blah. But we did do it together. So that was never really an issue. Um, I did have one girlfriend a long time ago who didn't want me to lose weight because she liked me the way I was. That ended soon after. Um... But yeah, no, I absolutely would never, ever, in a million years, um, sacrifice weight loss for a, a, a relationship. Because if, if that's what you really want, um, then that person should love you enough for you to, to, to respect that, in my mind. And if they don't, then they're not worth the hassle, really. I mean, obviously, that's a really, a really general thing because it, it can completely tear you apart obviously and um, because of that it's awkward basically is what I'm saying but in the long run if it's something that I really really wanted to do I couldn't stay with someone who wanted to hold me back from that and um because in the, in the long run you'd end up resenting them you'd hate yourself and you'd hate them for making you hate yourself so or I would anyway so um, I hope that's kind of answered your question, um, and yeah, write back to me, I, I love text comments, I absolutely love video responses, so definitely be doing them if you want to, um, I, I personally love, I, I read every comment and I love reading them, uh, I love writing back to them, I love watching video responses. Um, and you make me feel special when you leave them. So, not putting any pressure on you, but if you do, you make me feel special. Stay tuned tomorrow for our lovely Natasha, who's going to bring a fantastic vlog and shed some more light on the subject. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be back, uh, hopefully very soon. But until then, uh, stay happy, stay on track. I'll see you soon.